was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could Hey guys, Enzo here, Son of a Pizza Man, where we talk about food and sometimes pizza. I'm here with... It's me! And today we are starting a... Uh, I'm trying out this new series where I turn people's favorite foods into pizza. So it's gonna, it's gonna, let me, let me break it down for you. So the first video is gonna be the original recipe. And then the second video is gonna be my attempt at transforming the recipe into a pizza. Cool. So it'll be a challenge. Yeah, I'm curious to see how you do this one that we're doing today. So what we're doing today is uh, your mom's tuna ladder loaf. Right. And, and if you don't know what tuna ladder loaf is, you're gonna explain. Well, so we're making, I'm uh, making today my mom's uh, tuna ladder loaf, which is um, this thing that she used to make when we were kids. It's basically a, it's like a homemade hot pocket log. <laughs> it's like, <clears throat> so <clears throat> do I go over the ingredients and stuff? Uh, just to, so why, so why is it so, why do I like it? Why do you like it so much and why do you make it so much? I make it because it involves some of my favorite stuff, which is um, bread, tuna salad. Mm -hmm. um, it's really easy. It seems, I feel like, I, I've moved past the point in my life where I thought that it was very impressive to make, but there was a point in my life where I was like, yeah, I can, I can cook, I can do this thing. Which is like, it's really like, less cooking and more like assembling and then heating, um, which is like not really the same thing as cooking necessarily. I mean, right. you could argue otherwise, but my mom used to make it all the time when we were kids and I and she got it from a, um, a recipe book that my grandmother, for a little while my grandmother was working for a, um, as a title agent for a real estate company and they put out a cookbook um, which I guess a lot of places do, but like I don't feel like it's as frequent anymore that places like put out a spiral bound, you know, f thing of illustrated recipes that they put out every year and it's always like, oh, we know, you know, Jenny's recipe is going to be so great and, you know. We did a, th a, s a thing similar in second grade. Oh, really? Uh, I, s I might actually still have it. Uh, we, put, we put a cookbook together of all this. All the students. I don't remember what mine was. Um, I don't even know if mine was in there actually. No, yeah. for some reason. But anyway. well, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I just so, I just remember that my mom my mom used to make stuff out of this book. She got it from my grandmother, and she used to constantly make things. And one of the things that she made that was like really easy and simple. My mom um, worked um, has worked in a factory forever, and um, and uh, she has. Um, and she used to work third shift a lot. So whenever she was cooking, it was like gotta be quick. Kids gotta like it. I don't have time for arguing. So um, she used to make this thing all the time. And there was a point where it was like, we were in into it so much, she would make them two at a time because we would just just house these things and just get really, really into it. So um, yeah, I've made it I've made it many times. I've made it for many people. Um, I used to make it or a version of it, like a jazzed up, I made like a curry chicken ladder loaf once mm -hmm. with these like, you know, half tomatoes on top. Um, and I used to make it for dates. So it'd be like, first date, we'd like do whatever. Second date, come over, I'd make you dinner. And <laughs> I would make you this <laughs> loaf. This uh, giant <laughs> loaf of tuna and cheese. Mm. Mm. Nothing says love. Yeah, anything. nothing says, nothing no, says nothing sex. Says, let's make out. Nothing says let's make out like a mouthful of tuna salad. Oh. Uh, I used to, in college, I think my freshman year, uh, the ca I was a commuter and I always ate in the cafeteria on campus and I would always get a tuna, um, a tuna, tuna, tuna melt. A tuna melt. On a bagel. Right. And I don't know what they put in that tuna, but it was real good. Probably loads of man of like of like uh, mayonnaise. It was and stuff. it was like super tangy. Yeah, I remember. So. But that's the thing is, so it's so essentially it's a it's a it's a tuna melt croissant, but in the form of so it's like half that and half like a big hot pocket. Like so you're yeah so you're making this big log of tuna salad and you're wrapping it in this um, in this stuff. So. Welcome back. By the magic of YouTube, we have a cooked tuna ladder loaf. 
So that is the the loaf of ladder. Um, oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Look at this loaf. This is just sections of a much larger, delicious thing. So I've had this plenty of times. You've obviously <laughs> had this plenty of times. So we know what it tastes like, but. It's very reminiscent of a tuna melt. It's mm -hmm. very comforting. It's warm. It's tasty. It's cheesy. Just like my baby. Me, that's me. Delicious. Cheesy. So yeah, that was uh, the tuna ladder loaf. The next challenge is gonna be making or turning this into a pizza. So that'll be the next video. And speaking of next video, if you haven't already, you should probably subscribe so you're notified when that video goes up because I'm not sure when exactly it will go up, but it will <laughs> go up soon. Soon. So you should hit that subscribe button anyway and subscribe to my channel to uh, see all the cool, cool videos that I do. And uh, if you wanna hit me up on social media, you can do that at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Just look for Son of a Pizza Man, it'll pop up. And um, what else? I think that's it. So thank you for the recipe, my love. Oh, you're very welcome. And uh, stay tuned for part two of this video. Stay tuned. And uh, until next time, ciao for now. See you later. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son of a pizza man.